the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples i give you my assurance whatever you ask the father he will give you in my name until now you are not asked for anything in my name ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full i have spoken these things to you in veiled language yet time will come when i shall no longer do so but shall tell you about the father in plain speech on that day you will ask in my name and i do not say that i will petition the father for you the father already loves you because you have loved me and have believed that i came from god i did indeed come from the father i came into the world now i am leaving the world to go to the father the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus dear father my dear sisters what a consoling message that jesus gives before departing from this world he says if you pray to the father you will get everything ask the father in my name in other words there is no prayer that is not answered by god prayer time is not a waste of time god willing our sufferings may be disappearing whether they disappear or not one thing is certain god will give us enormous strength energy courage to bear the sufferings and be happy today jesus says your joy will be full god will give us joy amidst difficulties amidst problems that is really reassuring for us jesus showed us the heart of the father by the parable of the prodigal son when jesus was accused of for being too kind to the sinners he said you are accusing me i will show you the heart of my father my father grieves suffers when others suffer my father forgives my father is generous i am like my father jesus cares about us our god cares about us and he will give us in our strength that's what we learn especially from today's gospel passage and in today's first reading we hear about a lay person apollos being taught by paul and his collaborators apollos is a jew and then he is a uh, greek and then paul and his companions aquila and priscilla want to make use of him for ministry in our own ministry of evangelization we should be open like paul and priscilla and aquila see the talent see the potential and then include them in our own ministry sometimes some of the priests and religious may think that they have the monopoly of evangelization not at all later on to the corinthian community paul would say 
the role about apollos so many followed apollos also some said that they belong to paul others apollos others kepha some others said we belong to christ that means apollos became a famous teacher because paul wanted him to be included and asked aquila and priscilla to teach him the truth and then he began to teach and so many people came to know about christ we need others i always say my definition of humility humility is the recognition that we need god we need others we should not we don't care masters we need our children we need our sisters we need our collaborators we have to recognize it constantly an american actor was called to address a group of ex service men who gave their all to the country in the war some of them had no limbs he said i am very very busy i cannot come finally because the other people insisted he said i will come for 5 minutes the person who came there for 5 minutes started talking for half an hour then they asked him what you made a big fuss Uh, you will not come and then you will remain only 5 minutes and you are talking now half an hour then he said it seems i started to finish my speech fast but then in the first row i saw a man without the right hand the another without the left hand both of them joined their left hand and right hand and clapped as i talked when i saw them i had mercy i had compassion i wanted to entertain them a little more that thought will happen then god sees us putting together our resources talents time and energy together with others god will have mercy on us just as the actor had mercy on us i need this sister i need this girl i need this man for my ministry when we join our resources god will have mercy on us and do wonderful things to us let us continue to pray let us continue to collaborate let us know that each one of our brothers and sisters are needed our co-heirs to the promises of god our collaborators in the ministry of god amen